So just a preamble before the video starts, I'd like to thank everybody who's subscribed. I'm on now over 400 subscribers. I'd like to thank George from You Wanna Watch. Great channel, he does some brilliant stuff. Sending guys over and mentioning to the, uh, me to them. Thank you, George. Um, if you've not seen his channel, flip over there. He's got some great stuff and he does great hauls. Thanks very much. Good morning, welcome to my workshop. My name's Ant. Uh, it's a Sunday morning. I've just had uh, a breakfast. So, you know, fried bread, sausage, eggs. Set me up for the day. Put two shelves up in my man cave. It's called a man cave, it's a spare, spare bedroom really. But I went to the car boot sale yesterday. Today's a cancelled, it looks like rain. And I bought a few things. Let's go through what I've got. A couple of them will be interesting. Now, I picked this up, and this, the only reason, really, I'm never going to use this probably, so I might sell it on, is a torque spanner. Now, I can't remember, it was not virtually, I think £1.50, but I think these are probably going for about 25 quid. It has got some rust, as you can see. But it's, it's not in bad nick, that'll clean off. It's a Perifix, don't know where it's made, to be fair. Um, Perifix doesn't say, mate. Eh. Nope, can't see. It looks German actually, but it's most of it looks great. I'll just have to see if I can. Yeah, I mean, it's all moves in there, so yeah, I'll give that a brush up and bang that on. And to be fair, I buy things like this to sell on because I can buy more tools. Who does that? What do you think of that? And then I went through a little, you know, buying selection spree. I bought some, okay, this was 50 pence. Got had boxes and boxes. Bought them for the brass screws. There's some nails which are always come in useful, as we know. Nice vintage brass screws, slotted head, various sizes. Some of them are dome shaped. So, you know, they always come in useful, don't they? Little box as well, free. <laughs> so that was 50 pence. I bought, let's see what else we've got in here, shall we? Now, is this a wire gauge for measuring the thickness of wire, or I've seen it somewhere before. I can't quite. But I think that's what it is. But it's got. I mean, it's got a wooden handle, nice steel. I can't see any markings on it at all. But it is well rusty. This might be a case for the electrolyte bath. To be fair, uh, if you're wondering how to use electrolyte bath. Uh, how to set it up? There is a video of mine on the um, on my channel, which puts it really simple how to do it. Because a lot of the, the like the world of ones on YouTube, you need to basically be a scientist to understand them. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to set one of these up, but I'll explain it in a in a simple, down to earth way. But that that'll clean up nice. I think that looks like nice steel. So. As usual, like, comment, subscribe. Um, comment above all else. We've got a lot of comments, a lot of questions. If you know basically what that is, how it's used, let me know. And same goes for everything else as well. I was out last night, to be fair. That, um, these are two Snail Brand spanners I picked up. These will clean up nice. Very nice Snail Brand. I've got a little bit of a collection of these. I love the love the insignia. It's just great, isn't it? <laughs> you know, it's, it's magic. Brian the Snail. That's from an old British TV show, so if any of you know it, Brian the Snail from um, The Magic Roundabout, yeah, mad. But there, two more snail spanners from my collection. Um, yeah, comment away, comment away. Yeah, I was out last night. It was the my new Indian restaurant, new owners. We went there, um, we had some live music, uh, some dancing, yeah, yeah, We I, was, I had a few. And uh, now then, what do you think of this? Is this a, a modification, a cut-off modification of a, a clamp? Say cut-off here, but it doesn't look rough. It looks nice and smooth. It's a nice job if it has been done like that. Or I can't find any names on it at all. But it's a lovely heavy-duty clamp. This will clean up an absolute treat. Wooden handle, which looks homemade. It's, there's no slop to it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got a letter three stamp there and a letter three stamp there, but that is it. 
I paid a pound for that. I can't remember what I paid for some of the other things, just to let you know. The two spanners were a pound for the both. So let me know about this, what you think about it, or what make it could be, or if you want me to see it cleaned up. Uh, which item here do you want to see cleaned up? If any, which is your favorite? And what about this? It's a little bench grinder, tiny. So you fit it on the bench with the clamp there, and away you jolly well go. Now this is a British one. I have got one that's made in Poland, and I've got another one here, which needs cleaning up, which is fixed solid. And all, that's only got a H or H sticker there, but it's fixed solid, so nothing I can do with that at the moment. I'll have to clean that, take it apart. But this one's got a cool action. Okay, needs a clean up, needs a lubrication. Made in England, or it says made in Great Britain. So that was one from before, which needs a good. But this one's in not bad nick. What do you think of those two? Then I bought, I believe these two are 50 pence each. I bought this one because it's an old footprint, I think. Usually yellow and black. It could be a Stanley, I can't really see. You might be able to make that out. But it's, you know, steel ferrule, plastic insert, wooden handle. Obviously the paint's gone missing a while ago. And then there was this one, which has got Sheffield on it. It's got paint marks. Once again, steel ferrule, steel. They've used it for stirring glue. What a lovely shaped handle though. Isn't that lovely? Can't see any maker on it. But that's cool, I like that. And then I picked up this screwdriver. A nice cabinet style. Interesting enough, it's got here Rover Aero AM. I haven't looked it up yet. Steel, brass, wood. Rover Aero, which makes me think it's something to do with planes. Could it be? Rover is it was a car company in the UK. Don't Toga. Now Toga's an old yeah. Toga is an old an old name. Back in the day, you find them in the old catalogues, but you very rarely find any of the screwdrivers. So that's an interesting one. So there's them three. That was 50 pence. These two were 50 pence each, yeah, from different guys. Now, this is one of the most interesting things I bought. British made, painted number blah, blah, blah. A universal number two. Look at that. Okay, it's a bit stiff. It's a, how would you use that? An offset type self adjusting spanner. Like I say, it's a bit stiff. That needs a good clean up. That might be one that goes in the electrolyte bath as well, to be fair. Yeah, that'll be a lot easier to move. What do you think of that then? Like, comment, subscribe, let me know. And finally, <laughs> funnily enough, one of, an old schoolmate of mine had a, a stall and I bumped into him. He's all right, how are you doing? Yeah. It's a scrap man, but he had this. It's a Woden woodworking vice, a Woden 194, made in England, vintage. Not the best, it does revolve, but oh yeah, that is pretty stiff. But that'll clean up nice. Woden 194, little mini woodworking vice, probably from the 60s, I guess. And I paid three pound for that. I can remember that one. It's three pound. So I didn't probably pay more than, I guess I didn't pay more than a ten dollar for all that. So yeah, not a bad little haul. Quite pleased with the screwdrivers. Very pleased with this and this clamp. Okay, tell me which one you think is your favourite. Tell me which one we should do up. Is it the little wheel, the clamp? the screwdrivers, this cool spanner, or the vice. I'll probably do them all, but you let me know. And check out that video about the electrolyte bath on the previous videos. Like, comment, subscribe. I wanna hear your comments. Let me know. Thanks for turning up today. Have a great Sunday, everybody, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.